fine. I'm trying to add um Whoa, yeah. Shauna McKenzie. What's going on, you? Yo, me there. Me say, me and Admiral just attacked a while ago. And mm -hmm. me, me, um, Admiral, Admiral, I, I tell me, you know, Admiral, they're, they're, they're like, um, Nor the Nor artists from Norway. You know? And I was talking about, like, just quick copyright. And right away, he could say, oh, yeah, we copyright all our music over here. Mm. <laughs> you know, you know, so so here, what I want to talk to you about now, mm -hmm. right? I want you to discuss what your lawsuit was about from the beginning. I'm gonna want, I'm gonna want the conversation straight because I think this is a very, very important topic that I feel like people need to know. Mm. Yeah, because but and this is why we're we're not gonna really read any comment or anything. We're just gonna have a discussion, you know, and stuff like that. Um, uh, anything you don't know, want to share too, Minago? No, I'm <laughs> no. We know we we know the we know the we know the we know the boundaries. We know. Yeah. We know, um, yeah, so let's start because you know, we're not we're not scared to talk about our experience, you know. So, yeah, so we want to talk about how it starts. Oh, you want to know it starts? Oh, my okay. So, uh, why go on, talk? Yeah, so, um, and when it says how it start and when it start and all that. Um, you want me going? You want me going in details, deep, right? More on how it start. You don't know about that. You want to know it start? Yeah. Okay. Well. Me go right. so, have a change. Me see for you. Me go get comfortable for that one. Yeah. No, more. You have to get. You have to get comfortable. You know. You need to get comfortable for it. Um, I almost broke my light. Well, <laughs> no, man, they can't broke your light, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So yeah, no, and, well, and the well, thing well. is, the thing is, it too. Well, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I will, I will, I will um, ask everyone on the live that if they can just continue to share, share, because what we're going to talk about maybe a lot it's of very people, important. It's very important. I want to the sound. Where the sound gone? Okay. Um. Yeah. You know. Yeah. What we're going to talk about is very, very important, right? So. And everyone have a story to tell, and but my story is kind of different still. And when it comes to reggae music, um. Everything always debatable and stuff like that, and and. You know, and, and this situation is not like that. It's not and you know how them love come say artists and, and producer sign yeah. that contract and this yeah. and that, the, right? Yeah, they're, they're, but in like this to, case, yeah. mm -hmm. there is no bad contract that a producer or yeah. artist signs. Sign. Yeah, there's right. no such thing as that, as a bad contract or a producer or artist sign. Yeah, I'm just echoing what you're saying. Yeah, so like all my stories start, you know, and it's serious, right? So... Mm -hmm. In the I beginning, yeah. In in the beginning, yeah. You produced an album. Yeah. Or, <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. no, no, no. But listen, no, no, no. Uh, no, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get serious now, because you know, sometimes we talk and and we may laugh and people feel like say, yo, them are joke, but this is you no know, joke. No joke. I'm a Gemini. I love to laugh and things like that, you know. But but you know, even when time I go through the the rough time, we will we'll continue to laugh and smile. But this isn't this is no joke, right? Um so my my first the first song that I've that I licensed to license to VP records was Turbulence Name and Number. Oh I wish I I wish I was in my office so I can when while we talk, we 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 
we show the CDs and stuff like that and the liner note. We could do that because but we can do a re we can do a recap the next time, right? So my right. first my first song ever um that I've licensed to VP record was Turbulence Name and Number, right? And mm -hmm. that song came out on VP record. I think it was strictly the best 36, right? Strictly the best 36. Mm -hmm. And you know, they credit they credit my publisher, accounting to my publisher. Everything was nice and all of that. You know, we get all of our credit, etc. Um, the second song um, I licensed to VP Records was was uh, was was Egyptian, Egyptian Mama, and that record came out um, in a liner note. They credit my publisher, my publisher, and everything. You know, and. Um, the third, no, the third project was mm -hmm. the Egyptian album, which that's the album that Brave Egyptian, which is titled My Name is Egyptian. You yes. know, and you know, when we did that, when we did that um album, it was done by um done by my publisher with um with my attorney. They all negotiated that that uh, that agreement, you know, which which um they ensure that the proper the proper language was put into the agreement, so VP will know what are the expectation. I know what are my my expectation. My my publisher, we all know what are our expectation. What are what are our rights? Because a contract, that's what a contract do. A contract is there, mm -hmm. is put in place. So if there's a dispute, you know they can look at the contract to see what were the parties' um, intention and expectation and all of that. So right. the contract was put in place. So VP know what are their rights. I know what are my rights and my publisher know what what is their rights that their interest is, is to protect my my publisher. Right. Know? So so the Egyptian album came out, all the credit was there, everything. I, I get my, my credit, my publisher claim my credit, VP records, they pay over. But what credit did what credit did they get on the publishing side or oh, uh copyright VP? side? VP? Yeah. Oh, oh, so oh, yeah. So, in the in the agreement, what we did, our publisher, in exchange for VP to promote the Egyptian record, my name is Egyptian. Yeah. Um, we gave them one third, one third of the publishing. Right. We gave them one third of the publishing. Um, on the. On, on what the, year was this? On Egyptian record. If I ah, uh, uh, this is why when I I like to have my documents, but I know it's between. 2006, 2006 and 2007. It's, it's around there, around 2006, 2007. Mm -hmm. You know, but I was doing business with them at, from 2005, right. right? But so I think this was... Your phone gone. Yeah. So, yeah, so it was, it was in 2006, I would say. Yeah. yeah. Oh yes, because I think the album came out in two thousand and seven. That's what so around really about two thousand. Yes, around about two thousand six. Specifically, but around about them. Yeah, around about two thousand six, two thousand seven. Yeah, that's yeah. So them know. get one third of the album. Them yeah, man, they get they right. get one third of the publishing on the album, uh -huh. and um, the the other the 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 remaining was was for me, which my publisher administrate that. Right. And um, so and 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 and, and it's serious, you know, it's no joke. And um, the second, the, the fourth project was Rubber Dub Rhythm. Cause I, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. that's, yeah, that's a big rhythm, you know, with I'm not afraid and all of that. And that project yeah. came out and they credit, they credit my publisher, you know, same way. And they pay them all the mechanicals, whatever they've been. I, I wouldn't say all of it, but whatever they want to pay them, they pay them. They pay them the mechanicals. They credit. They credit us the, the 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 proper way, which is which mean on the publishing. Because as I said, when I did the deal with them, I have, I have an attorney and my publisher, so everything was was straight on my side. Yeah. Not, not on their side. So, so um, hmm. then my, my fifth record with them was was Rocksteady. Bad mind can't be you know the big song. Yeah. Bad mind and all of that. That was a, that was a, that was the 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 fifth project, right? 
So, right, and these were all rhythm, so albums, you know. Yeah, right? these are rhythm albums. So my yeah. fifth project with with VP with, with um was Rocksteady. Yeah. But Rocksteady, Rocksteady, um rhythm did not fall under my publishing agreement with my publisher in Germany because at that time the contract the expired. Contract done, right? The contract done. So. Um, so I want then. to I want you to get to the point where you noticed that there was a problem. Like no, but hold on, I'm tell you. So, so my contract end with the the with, publisher with the publisher in Germany, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, I was like thinking to myself, say I produce all of this music. Oh, I don't. I'm not getting any rights share and all that because my publisher. You're not see a royalties. Yeah, but my publisher in Germany told me that I was I was because they they are crooks, you know. So my publisher in Germany told me that I was a member of Gamer in Germany. When I checked Gamer, Gamer said, "You can't be a member of Gamer because you're a Jamaican, you're a Jamaican um citizen." But at that time, Jamaican could not be a member of Gamer society, and Gamer is like BMI, etc. So right. So the Rock said the project that VP um, released, that, that is like the fifth project, I think. Maybe, maybe the fifth one or six, whatever. But when they released that, that project with your song, Bad Mind, the Royalty Network and BMI flew to Jamaica. I mean, like BMI Performance Society. They flew yeah. to Jamaica and said to me, oh my God, you're one of the biggest producers. You have no publisher. You're not a member of any any performance society worldwide. And I said, no. I'm a member of Gay Man Society. He said, no. We flew to Jamaica to sign you as a writer mm -hmm. and to set up your publishing company because you don't have any publisher. No one is claiming your work. Right. That's how I become a member of BMI. BMI, BMI, as I said, come to Jamaica and sign me. So what BMI did, BMI and the Royalty Network, they set up my publishing company, set it up and do everything. So so you set so it up with them? Yeah, B, no, BMI set it up. So BMI right. set it up, So because I, I signed directly with BMI. So BMI set it up, and yeah. then Royalty Network was, was the administrator for it. So right. I submit those information to VP Records to say, mm -hmm. hey, my publisher and these works are the Royalty Network, right? No, yeah. The record came out. Flavor Roots Publishing, Administrator, Royalty Network. Boom. Okay. So this is uh, for the last set of album when you never have no publisher. Go ahead. Ne never have no publisher. Correct. Right. Right. So next thing now, so I log into it's like I don't because now I'm a member of BMI and I have login and all of that. So yeah, so yeah. So check. I log into I log into BMI. I log into BMI uh, maybe I don't maybe uh probably like Four months, cause four months are maybe less than that. I log into BMI, yeah. and you know, I I noticed that my songs them are saying that um, my publishing is administrated by 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 BMG, mm -hmm. BMG Rights Management, and I was like, BMG Right Management? I don't sign with BMG. <laughs> BMG, big, 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 big BMG rights management, BMG publishing. Yeah. They administrate my publishing, and I said no. So I write to BMI, and I said to BMI, um, how come? How, how is it that my publishing information is changed, and my publisher is removed? So the BMI attorney said to me, "Hey, this is bigger than me, and I will, I will advise you. I suggest that you get an attorney because." A fraud has been committed here, and it now becomes a legal matter because your information. So then, um, can't do nothing about it. The person who want get involved because it's a legal matter. Yeah, in the, yeah, he don't want to get involved. This, right. So it's more like an off the record talk, you know. He was like, right. "Listen, this is I this is a fraud because right. your, 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 your information not supposed to be changed without we notify you. That's our policy. We're right. supposed to notify you that there's a new publisher." So we're going to request a letter of direction from you because you have to, you, a writer or a composer 
if someone were to take over your account, you have to send they BMI a letter. They need to be notified. Yeah, right? they, they, they need to be notified by a letter of direction by, by the writer, composer, etc. So right. I didn't send that. So I said, yo, anyway. So then the information on the account, um, this Caitlin Bro Broadwick, Caitlin Broadwick from BMG, it lists mm -hmm. her. So I wrote to her and I said, um, BMG don't control my publishing. Um, how does BM BMG end up now as the administrator for my catalog? And then yeah. um, she respond and say, um, the catalog, not right away, but she did respond at a later date and saying that um, BMG Right Management Management administrated the catalog because it was assigned to them. It was assigned to them by VP um, by VP Record, STB Music, and Greensleeve. Yeah. And I said, No, no, no. I I don't have a publishing agreement with Greensleeve Record, STB, or VP Records. What they do, they they release the record. They're the, they're the record label for it, but not for the publisher. Then we're going back and forth. Then the next thing I the next thing I then. She, like a few days later, she respond and just send send an agreement, and all what she said in the agreement, please see attach. So that this is the contract that she's gotten. To yeah. Have so you're publishing, okay. So she just she she just reply back saying please see attach. Like right, oh, and you and you usually when someone please, yeah <laughs> right yeah so she does she didn't want to like probably like you know make a statement on something because remember I already right. told her so that. So she sent I, the agreement, right? Yeah, so she sent the agreement but maybe she was still like, wait a minute I'm just going to give him the contract and, and not say nothing because she don't want to like, you know her to be herself. But, yes, exactly. So when I read the contract and it says Kimar McGregor sign sign away his publishing to this company, to VP, to STB Music. And I was like, what? And when I checked the date, I think the contract was was dated um 2005 that I signed the publishing, I signed a publishing agreement with VP Record in 2005. But how can I sign a publishing agreement in VP Record in 2005 where we're now in 2008. Yeah. And all my works that was released from... No, no, listen. All my works that was... I've been producing music from 2003, right? right? So, which means that all my work... Sometimes publishers do that. Publishers like to do retro. You know, that they will go back. So, which means that... But their contract that... The, the so-called contract that so the they... first contract that you signed i want to bring you back to this point so if you said the first contract the first agreement where you know mix up in now was the egyptian contract for that well, the... album then which was a third of that album yes but well, a third right. of that but what, right. I, what what i was trying to say that i mean and that was like 2007 ish two, whatever yeah 2007 2006 2007 ish right yeah but but then VP Record present a contract to BMG to say that I signed a publishing agreement with them back in 2005. And that publishing agreement didn't say one third. I didn't say whatever. It, it said, said 100. It said, it said my entire catalog. Shit. Everything. Okay. I mean, everything back from 2003. <laughs> To know and going everything. forward. So everything Check that I do in my life, they control it. So I don't know how you how, how, how that work that you're gonna try to er, they try to erase all of the accounting that they have done, all the the line and note and everything what they have done. Anyway, so but I told BMG, I told BMG that this contract is a forgery and they should cease and desist. But also what I did, I sent several emails to BMG of communication between myself um, and Christopher, um, VP Records, Christian and Olivier Chastan going back Their and people, forth. Their people, right. Yeah, going back and forth, you know, up there trying to get me to sign a publishing deal with them. So I was like, no, even last week they were trying to get me to sign a publishing agreement and I didn't sign it. So um, it's, a, it's a straight up, yeah, that document is, is, a, is a fraud.
Um, next thing um, I got is an email from the head of BMG, head of BMG Germany, the US, and the UK, saying that they're no longer going to communicate with me and they're going to stand by their, 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 um, pop, their deal with VP because no VP, VP records sue me in the court. So they're letting you know before you are even served that you have a lawsuit. Yeah, right so, now. so before, okay. before I know about the lawsuit are, 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 I've been served, BMG, the head of BMG, I Germany. I told you, you there is a case. You, yeah, they let me know that, yo, you're being sued by, by VP Records. Right so, now. <laughs> so right now you're being sued. So we're standing by the agreement and we're no longer going to communicate with you because VP, got, VP right. got this and you've been sued. Because you know what? You don't want to honor the agreement. Blah, blah. I said, okay, fine. So, yeah, VP sue me. But, and when they sue me, they make sure... Because, you know, in, in the court, right, you have some court reporter and stuff like that. So they ensure that they get some court reporter to report that, oh, VP sue reggae producer for, um, for not honoring contract that they pay over 100K or whatever. So they which... put out press release that... Yeah, they put out press release. You, yeah, yeah. Using, the, using the court reporter them to do that. They put out press release yeah. and all of that. You know, that was very painful, but... Um, I said, but yo, me not sign to the, me not sign to VP and all that. But anyway, we call Chris and I said, Chris, what up? Wait, wait, Chris, me not sign a publishing agreement with you. Come on, know Chris, me, me and Chris, me think me and Chris good. Me think me and Christopher Chin good because we always think we're good. Yeah, because me and Christopher Chin, <laughs> we would, we would, would up on the phone and we talk. I'm call him and I say, yo, Chris, um, what is that? Yo, you know me not sign a publishing, a publishing deal with you. And him all and, and all them up and yo, he said, just call me in the morning, man, my mate. I said, no, I don't even call in the morning because I don't sign a publishing agreement with you. So, but I don't know. I, I, he didn't know that he, he, I was recording him because I just said to you, if I know you're good and you do me that, me, me not trust anymore. So I'm gonna record you, you know. So I'm gonna record, record me and him talk on the phone. I said, don't sign a publishing agreement with you. Blah blah blah. You know, I'm still say, yo. Or if you don't want to call me tomorrow, whatever, just do what you want for the one. So he start bad me some approved now, you know. So I say, all right. Yeah. You know. I say, all right, boop. So, man, when I finally get the, when I finally get um, serve, serve a, um, a copy of the lawsuit, I went to the lawsuit and because you know when you file a lawsuit, right? You 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 add like a you add like a timeline to it. Right. Everything so you add a, you add a timeline to the uh, timeline to the lawsuit of what take place, whatever. Yeah. So when they tell the story in the in the lawsuit and the timeline and all of that, it was off. Like. So every accounting statement that they would account to my publisher, they remade those accounting statements and send them to me, and put and put on it that they have money in the escrow account to pay me. I was like, and. Every check that they mail me or whatever, I said, yo, I'm going to resend that back in the mail. You're not my publisher. Every accounting statement, I reject them. So they were trying to cover themselves and redo history. So everything that they account to my... And let, oh, let me pause you for a second. Mm. People where I watch this and some people where I listen, the most say, yo, this after be like, I'm just no no way my talk say. But I want you to be clear. This is like... Like, no, you oh, have no. to understand the practice. I don't want to show you. Keep your stick mm. up in enough and you go going to continue. I don't want you to come follow me now. Mm. <laughs> People have to understand that we are speak of a company that does not operate like a traditional company. Go ahead. No, they don't. And this is why sometimes, this is why sometimes we don't really like talk about it because when we talk about it, it becomes it sounds like too it, crazy. It sounds too crazy and then it, yeah. sound, it then becomes debatable where everyone's saying that, yo, no, so it you have a sign to wrong point, contract. Right, so, no, so yeah, go back to yes or no. When yeah, look through the yeah. So, but we'll, we'll get back to that. But the reason why I'm reinforcing that because a lot of people will will listen and feel like yo, you know what? It's a debate. But this is not a debate. We're just uh, I'm just talking about my experience and what right. I go through. You know, yes. so you know, so it's not a debate. So when I look through the timeline in, in the settlement agreement, I was like, 
nope, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. So what they did, they mislead the court. They add all the contracts that are signed with them, right? And when they list the Egyptian, the Egyptian 2 album, they didn't list any agreement for it, right? But the court, the court not going to look at that. The court don't look at those things, and the court not going to look what, you know, whatever. The court don't look at that. So I was like, okay, they list everything, but they don't list the 2000, 2006 or 2000, I don't remember the date, 2006 or 2007 Egyptian agreement, which proved, which would have proved that, proven that they don't have the publishing and what they're doing is, is defrauding the court and, 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 and commit a fraud against me. They didn't so they list skip that. out the Egyptian agreement, They right. skip out... They, they 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 skip out the evidence that would have would have proven proven that everything that they're doing is wrong. Is wrong. Of course, they're gonna defend themselves because yes. of a lawsuit, right? So they 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 did all of that. But when they sue me, their intention was not to pursue with a lawsuit. It was more like to scare me, right? To get me to signed off on it they gave me some money or and... you're assuming you assume that their no. intention was not to no. go through it no it, it's not a it's not it's not, you're a not assuming I, I, okay. I know i know okay i know it was they, remember you know, they have never ever done this to any producer or, or anyone else in the industry to go and sue them right they have never done this before but remember you're talking about bmg and you're talking about sony music these are major corporations, and if I'm saying to a major corporation that VP Records forged my signature and, and what they're presenting is a fraud, then for them to have integrity or to, or to make this com um, company feel comfortable, their, their course of action and what they think is best for them is to file a lawsuit. Right. So that's why they file a lawsuit now to think that, okay, I'm going to fold over and I'm I going say, to... All right, no bother, because you can't and afford then, to you in a lawsuit. Right. Yes, that, and then no BMG going to have us as some little, some Jamaican who would smoke a bag of weed and just sign stuff and remember what we we'll sign. So, you know, because <laughs> right. that, that is a stigma. That's what they were looking for. Yeah. So, anyway, I got the lawsuit and I looked, and when I realized that, okay, these people are totally dishonest, and this is not a mistake. These guys are for real. This is for real. Yeah. Then I I said okay. I reached out to maybe over two hundred attorney in New York. For like I think I asked for the judge. I asked for the judge for like an extension. I think they give me like what thirty days, and then I I, I asked of course, for another no, extension you have to find because it was to very difficult. Huh? Right. You have to find somebody no, because to defend yourself. Every no. no every attorney that I reach out to in New York saying that they can't go against VP, they only can settle. I said, why? They said, oh, because they're our client. I mean, Bring I've reached out over to three, you. maybe over three to 400 attorney. Every single attorney I reach out to, they want to settle the matter, and they're advising me that, oh, no, you should just settle with them. I said, are you crazy? So I couldn't get any attorney. So I said, okay. I wrote to the court, and I said to the judge, I explained to him, and I said, I want to represent myself. And the oh. judge said to me that. You want to go pro se? Yes, and the